Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at Minesweeper. I am doing this off of freeminesweeper.org, but I know there's several other places where you can play this game. I had some requests to show how to play Minesweeper using the expert mode. So I'm going to try it, even though winning at expert is sometimes challenging. We'll see what happens and how often I, I fail. <laughs> Start out with the first click. Um, just like regular Minesweeper, basically these numbers mean how many mines they're touching. So the only one that's really super helpful, well, we can get into that in a bit, but the only one that's really helpful with this is that there's one mine touching it, so we know that there's one there. Um, at this point, we have to do a little bit of guesswork. Um, we know that it's only one of these three here. And it's also one of these three here, and one of all of these ones all the way around there. And then only one of these three. So basically we can kind of um, guess that it's not going to be like there. And, and again, the reason for that was that this one was touching so many, this one was only touching three, and this, this one here was also touching some. So kind of just a guess almost, um, but you can look at it and sort of figure out like it has to be this, 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 or this. Um, also the same with this one, it's only touching one out of all of these. So we could sort of play our odds and, and again, go in on an angle. Um, but for now, I've got a little bit to work with here. I know it's one of those two. So it's also one of these three, nothing really helpful. That four is kind of helpful because it's touching five places. So we know it's four out of those five. And we know it can't be both of those because of that one. It has to be one of those two. So that means it's not there. Um, but it's one of those two, which means it has to be these three because of that four. And then that's going to go out this way. Now a shortcut that I showed in the smaller version of my um, Minesweeper is that you can click on this number right here um, and if it already has the number of mines touching it that it needs it will clear everything out. It's a great way to not accidentally click on a mine. Like this one here I know that means that that these guys are clear. But notice I'm clicking on the two and let's say I, I missed um, that that this one is touching a mine and I accidentally click on there. Um, if you're clicking right on the number itself, you can't, you know, shut down the game or, or lose by doing that. So anyway, let's keep going. Um, there we go. That's helpful. Um, that's there. Because again, that one is touching only one. Wow, this one's kind of tough. It's really... Um, kind of killing me here. Well, let's look at this. This two is touching one there, and so it has to be one of these two. That means it's not there. You see that? Because that one says it's only one of those two, so it has to be there. This one is telling us it's one of these three. You can see that. So it's either this one, this one, or this one. It has to be one of these two. So I'm guessing that from this one, if I go backwards, I'm not going to hit a mine. It's probably one of these two right here or here. So again, I could probably go back again um, a little bit. And, and again, it could be that it's, you know, this one and this one or something. Um, so it's not one of these two. So that could be touching that one. And then this one could be over there or something. But Again, this probability here because there's nothing that's guaranteed. Here's another situation where I've got where I know it's not that one because I've got a two there, meaning that that's one of them, that's one of them, and that one is touching both of those. So it has to be one of those two. Therefore, it's not this one. Okay, now let's let's talk about this situation where you've got a bunch of ones and twos. You can use that to clear some space. This is why um, expert is definitely makes you think a little bit more. You can use this to clear some space. So you know that only one of these three are in there. Well, let's go to this two right here. This two says it has to be two out of these three, right? And we have a bunch of ones on either side. You see the same thing there. It has to be two out of these three, but it can only be one out of these three. 
It has to be two out of these three. It can only be one out of these three. That means it's going in patterns where the two is touching it there and there. See? Same with this one. This two is touching it there and there. Um, and that's just because of where it can possibly go. So that helps us to kind of clear out. Notice that one there. Again, the one, two, one, two, one, two combo. It's going to lead to that. All right, which helps us to clear out some space here. Not a lot of space, but some. There we go. Huh. It's like a breath of fresh air when you actually start clearing stuff. And by the way, I'm touching the ones that, like, two is only touching those two. This one's only touching those two. Um, this one I can use to kind of clear out some space. Clear out some space. Um, and I tend to go in a bit of a circular pattern. So if I get stuck right here, like with this one, I know it's one of these three. I also know it's one of all of those four there. That's not really helpful. This one tells me it's one of these two. This two tells me it also has to be one of these three. So I know it's not there, but that's that's kind of more intense and difficult. So I'll try and go in a circular pattern and try and find the easy ones and then work from there. Like the ones that I'm seeing, the three there. Um, this one here is only touching two, so I'll go there. This is really not making it super easy for me. It's one of those two, so it's not there. Oh, that makes life. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Um, let's see, two there. So, again, I go kind of quick over the ones when it's only touching two places or three or whatever. Um, And we keep going. Holy cow. They are not making this easy, are they? That three, that's a nice common one where you see a three kind of in a corner where it's only touching three. That's really nice. Um, got a couple here. Ah. I also like this when you've got a one, two, three, two, because you know that the, th the three is only touching three, so that kind of makes life easy as well. Okay. Also, here is here's something that happens pretty commonly. If you've got a 1 1 1, you know that it's not there. And you can do the math on that where you see it has to be one of these two and then it has to be one of those three because of these two. And so that shows you um that the going in you're definitely going to get one. Also, now this one tells you it has to be one of them on either side. So you can also go straight back one more. And in this case, I can go in a little bit, again, knowing that that's touching just one, so it's either here or here. I guess I could put the question marks there. It's either there or there. Um, so there we go. Uh, this is not, this is going to end up being a guessing game unless I can figure some more out here. Um, let's clear that out because that's always distracting to me. This two says there has to be, it's, the one says it's one of these two, only one of those two, and that two is only touching those three spaces. So that one has to be one. We know that. Um, there's not much else that we know from there right away. So I'm going to move on to stuff that's easy. You know, that low hanging fruit or whatever. If I can. Because sometimes you'll find that, like, if I f catch in here somewhere, if I get a bit of a break, then it'll come, come back and. I'm going to have an opportunity to kind of clear some stuff out. Boom. Just like you're seeing happening right there. So that's nice. All right. Three, one. Oh, a five. And everything comes to a complete stop. Four. So again, this game can be, this one here is a situation, again, we've got 
the two against that means that it has to be one of those two, so it's not going to be there because of that three. That three says it has to be, there's two of them touching it. So it's basically like having a one, one against a wall situation where you have to, going in there, you know it's not going to do something. Also, this tells us something here. One of these two, but this three says it has to be two out of these three. So we know that one is a mine. Also, these fours are kind of a little bit helpful um, because they're going to tell us, I oh, don't know, never mind, they're not super helpful. We know it's one of those for that three. This four is touching one, two, three, four, five spaces. This four is touching five. That three is touching four. So we're just going to move along for some easier stuff if we can find it. And it's not looking like we're finding it. Ah! This is not fun. All right. One of those three, one of those three, one of those four. That two says it's one of those two, so I can go in there. Oh, that's nice. So that means I can go back a little bit. <laughs> Not a lot, though. Oh. How about I do those ones? Okay, so I'm kind of at a little bit of a... No, here we go. Up there, it's, you know, it's going to be more complicated, and that's fine. Um, let's go over to here. It's one of these two, so we know it's there. That's going to help us move forward in that direction. One, two, three. And again, like I'm, I'm not a pro speed per, I'm sure that they have competitions, but um, basically the way that I do this is I, I keep going until I see something that's obvious to me. And then I stop and I work around that. And right now, if I'm looking at this going, oh, it's not obvious, I'll switch over somewhere else and and find something that's a little bit more obvious for me. All right, I don't really have too much of a choice at this point. There we go. Okay, cool. So now all I have left is this section. And this is why expert is frustrating to me because at some point, I'm going to have to just guess um i know it'll eventually happen all right um it's either this one or this one it's either this one or this one and it's either this one or this one great it's that one or that one um three says it's one of those four so that's a little bit better of a probability this two says it's either this one or this one. That one says it has to be one of those two. Two says that as well. This two says it's one of all of those. And this two says it has to be one of those three. This one says it has to be one of those. So this is like a one, 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 basically, right in a row. Could it be there? And then something way over there, yeah, it could. So I think I'm at the point, and and again, I'm sure that pros would be able to figure this out um, faster than I will. But I'm just gonna go ahead and click right there. Oh, and I died. Okay. So again, this is why. Look at that wall. I would have had to get around. Oof. Could have clicked anywhere else along that whole thing. Wow. So that I, the video is getting way too long. It's 14 minutes. This is why I didn't do <laughs> how to on Minesweeper in the first place on expert level. But I hope that that kind of walkthrough was helpful for you. Obviously, I didn't succeed. And that's what happens on expert. Sometimes you get situations where you get stuck. But again, I'm sure better players would have been able to get through that or figure it out or take the time to do it. I just don't want to or don't care or I'm not good enough. What are the other? But... Um, I hope that that was helpful. Again, I made this video on a request. Somebody said, hey, do a how-to on the expert level of Minesweeper. So here it is. I hope that was helpful for you. I'll share the link of where you can play for free, um, where I play for free if I when I do, um, in the video description. Have a wonderful day.